We are back with a new video tutorial for a motion capture plugin for Cinema 4D Prime uh, or higher, Release 14 or higher, using Microsoft's first generation of the Kinect. For non-commercial use, you can utilize the Kinect of the Xbox 360, but you might need an adapter. Please check under requirements for more information. Uh, actually, we are renewing this video to improve the quality, so let's take a look at how to make a motion capture recording inside the recording room using our motion capture plugin KCA Mocap V1 Basic. Just quickly, what does motion capture even mean? Basically, you act in front of the Kinect and then you apply those movements to a rigged character in Cinema 4D. We'll start by connecting the Kinect to your computer. Uh, you might have to wait a minute or two. And uh, then you launch Cinema 4D. In Cinema 4D's main menu, under Plugins, go to Cobalt Character Animation, KCA Motion Capture for Prime, and then you choose KCA Motion Capture for Prime. This is the recording room. If you didn't connect the Kinect to your computer via the USB port, you will get an error message plus the user interface on the left top side of our plugin will show up blank. In that case, close Cinema 4D, connect the Kinect, wait a minute, restart Cinema 4D and then our plugin. We connected everything perfectly, so all we're going to do, Kinect sensor is ready to use, we're just going to click on OK. Okay, here is our skeleton already in, my, in Cinema 4D's editor window. And on the left top is our user interface. Um, never attempt to modify the Kinect's angle manually. Always change uh, the Kinect angle here. You have a range of minus plus 27 degrees. And um, for example, I will put plus 27 degrees. Once you hit enter, uh, the Kinect's angle will be modified according to your settings. But we're going to go back to zero and just leave it there. If you activate the seated mode option, the Kinect only records movements from the waist up. Uh, we're going to deactivate it because we're actually going to make a recording of the entire body. FPS stands for frames per second. We're going to leave it at 30 frames per second. Uh, frame start determines at which frame the recording will start. So if you put, for example, the number 50 here and hit enter, the timeline will adjust accordingly. Uh, but we're going to put it back to zero. Okay, frames to record equals uh, the recording time. I'm going to choose 1500 and with 30 frames per second it will record 1500 frames divided by 30 frames per second which will be 50 seconds. We are ready so let's click on the button on. Now this is really cool because the user interface was designed so it could be used by one person so once the countdown starts you still have time to position yourself in front of the Kinect. The Kinect transfer starts when the countdown ends. The recording of your movement, however, or motion capture, still needs to be activated through a hand gesture, moving your right arm up and down as the skeleton is. We're recording now, um, waving, jumping, uh, while recording, uh, stand in front of the Kinect. You can always rotate your character inside the scene later on. The bars on the side indicate if you're inside the Kinect's recording area. If you're inside the recording area, it turns green. And if you step outside the recording area, then the corresponding bar turns pink. We still recommend to mark the recording area on the floor with tape. Cool, that was our recording. You can hit play to view it again. And now let's save the file under a different name. You have to save the Cinema 4D file outside Maxon's plugin folder. Let's do this. You see it is by default under the plugins folder and you have to save it outside it. 
because well uh, the main file is write protected and uh, actually for your own safety so you can always go back to the original file when you launch the plugin so let's look for a different location we're going to call it no, first recording that's it you have just made your first motion capture recording with our plugin I hope that you enjoyed it and that you come back for the next videos as well. Bye!